Well, the answer is between minus 10 and minus 6. And if you hang out for a minute, I'll explain the question. So yeah, it probably is the simplest of all recording questions, but if you're a young artist or producer just getting started out and you're not really, really sure, give me one minute and I'll just explain what level should I be recording at. I'll keep it really simple, non engineering but give you some information so you have some confidence about what you're doing. So here's logic. I want to show you because the way it meters can be a little deceptive and it's just getting used to what it is. There's nothing wrong with how they do it. It's just getting used to it. So I've got an oscillator up here. If I put this at minus 10, you can see it's just getting into the yellow. If I put this at minus 6, it's kind of deep into the yellow but not at the top. So why do we do that? If it's too hot, you're going to get distortion. And even if you don't really hear it as distortion, if it's too hot, it starts to get cloudy and the edge of the sound, the transient, it kind of gets ruined and so your clarity and your impact starts to go away. The lower you get, in digital, you get a different kind of distortion. Even if you turn it up after the fact, it's not gonna be as clear and robust and full as you like it. There are technical reasons for this, which would be really easy for you to find if you wanted to geek out, so I won't get into that. But here's the deal. If you stay in the zone, the loudest parts, you're gonna get a good result. Don't freak out if you go a little over or a little under. That's why you've got a range. The part at the top is called headroom. So as long as you stay out of the red, but in this zone I'm talking about, you're gonna have good luck. Now let me just say at this point, if you think stuff like this is kinda cool, it would be awesome if you hit that subscribe button. I'm just gonna show you in Ableton Live. It's just that meters all look a little bit different, and yeah, different DAWs actually have different ways of metering, but I just wanna give you a couple of examples so that you can see that metering is different, but the effect is the same, and Pro Tools actually has a bunch of different ways of metering, but if you're that far down the road, you probably don't really need this tutorial. Here's what it looks like in Ableton. This is minus 10, minus six. So you can see what it looks like. You can always change windows because in this particular window, if you're working in this view, the meter is much shorter and it's just harder to see. All right, that's it. So all you need to figure out now is how to adjust your preamp. And I don't know which one you have, but if you've got questions, put them in the comments and I'll see if I can point you in the right direction. Adjust your preamp so that the loudest parts of your vocal, or whatever you're recording, are going between minus 10 and minus 6. The top is 0. If you stay generally in that zone, you're going to get a really good result. And if you're an artist, producer, engineer, and you're putting yourself out there, releasing material, I've got nothing but respect for you. I'll see you guys next time.